friends welcome back to my channel i received this multimeter from singapore to review it let's check it let's unbox it Kevitz Smart Digital Multimeter Model KM601 User Manual different connectors and controls functions each function is defined here with the symbols it is a smart multimeter let's check it let's see it practically so it have a wonderful throb set thermocouple temperature probe and multimeter it have probe set 2000 volt 20 awd wire gauge and it is maximum 10 ampere and its back is, is hard and safe First we need to install battery. It have installed batteries. But the batteries are packed, insulated. Now I will install the batteries. Polarity is marked here positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. So this is positive. So we will place positive in this side. The next battery, negative side, will here positive here. So this one is positive. So positive will come here. Now this battery positive end will here. The cover is also hard and safe. It is showing auto power off here. This button is auto power off. If I will press this button, this sign will disappear and this time it will remain on. If the sign is visible, after 15 minutes of inactivity of the switch buttons readings it will turn off automatically to save the power here voltage voltage dc ac ohm continuity diode capacitor millivolt hertz and duty cycle temperature celsius and fahrenheit and cv non contact voltage live milliampere AC DC and ampere DC and AC this time it is scaling automatically it is scaling this is the test probe we will remove the dust cap from the test probes black lead here is the black common socket common milliampere 10 ampere 
and here is live ohms capacitor diode continuity voltage hertz duty cycle and temperature black here and red lead here test leads have protective caps so while testing if we are poking on the PCB so it will protect from short circuits but now I will remove these protective caps this time it is scanning automatically what we want to test initially I will connect without setting to any function any range I will connect to DC this battery it is giving 1.491 volt DC okay the same point if I will insert this test lead in the power socket we can see when I connect it into the power socket it is shifted automatically in AC now it is showing 226 volt 228 volt 50 percent okay if I will connect to resistor it is giving 0.1 ohm because it is 1 ohm resistor automatically it is showing continuity and if I will move to ohms it is showing 0 0.8, 0 0.7 ohm resistance let me check another resistor 15.6 ohm we can select the functions manually or we can work in auto mode now in manual manually we are in continuity mode we can test continuity okay in diode mode we can test any diode transistor point six oh, point six volt 0.603 volt and if I check some resistance here it is showing 0 0.011 volt so we need to select the function the second thing it have a bar graph here then the capacitor it is showing 43 microfarad so it is 47 microfarad then the second capacitor forty eight microfarad it is forty seven so it is showing forty eight that means this capacitor is good let me check some large capacitor it is Suprog five point six millifarad five thousand six hundred microfarad Six millifarad that's wonderful because it is 5.6 millifarad plus 10 percent so that means if it is reading 6000 microfarad that means this multimeter is giving good indication let's check some small capacitor it is 1.1 nanofarad yes it is 1 and 0 1 nanofarad
1.5 nanofarad 1.5 then the next function is millivolt we can measure millivolt then there is frequency let's check frequency I will set 1 Hertz it is showing 0.998 Hertz 10 Hertz 10 Hertz 100 Hertz 1 kilohertz 10 kilohertz 100 kilohertz 1 megahertz 1 megahertz that's really wonderful okay I will change the wave shape I change to square wave I will change the duty cycle shift duty 22 percent one kilohertz twenty two percent ten kilohertz hundred kilohertz one megahertz at 1 megahertz it is showing the nominal frequency less than this at 900 kilohertz up to 900 kilohertz it is showing the duty cycle exactly what we applied shift duty 78 percent 900 kilohertz I think that is wonderful shift duty 50 percent 2 megahertz 5 megahertz we can test clock signals using this multimeter 9.9 megahertz we are measuring the frequency 50 hertz so we can test the PWM signals we can test frequency signals then the next function that is degree centigrade temperature function for temperature function we will use this thermocouple probe temperature measurement black to the common red to the red socket and we will select to temperature it is indicating that we must connect the leads here it is showing the room temperature 23 degree and if I will hold this thermocouple in my fingers it is showing my body temperature and now if I will touch to the soldering iron we can see it is showing the tip temperature 275 degree centigrade upper scale is that is Fahrenheit scale the next is NCV non-contact voltage if I will press to NCV it can detect non-contact voltage it will indicate that here is the line voltage it is showing that 
there are line voltage available here. So we can detect any hidden wire that here are NCV non-contact voltage. As it will reach closer to the supply voltage, its beep will high and and it will indicate red light that here is the location for that hidden voltage. Then the next milliampere. If you will select this milliampere function, it will give warning light and it will say leads. Connect leads here. Here it is indicating that we must use test probe here. Black test probe to common. Red test probe to milliampere socket. Now the range is selected. When we not connected the lead, if the lead is connected here, it will give warning and it will not shift in the milliampere function. Now it is in milliampere. And if I will place this lead here, it will shift automatically in ampere. When I will place lead here, it will automatically move to milliampere. I have this battery. When we test current, how we can test current? We will use in series with the circuit. We will connect this ampere meter in series with the circuit. Negative to the battery negative terminal, positive one and to the load. It is showing 84.6 milliampere current is flowing from battery to the resistor to multimeter and multimeter to the battery second end. So in this way we can measure the current. Same way if you want to test if you want to test ampere maximum 10 ampere in milliampere we can test 600 milliampere maximum here 10 ampere and both are fused test signals inside it have fuse if you will apply more current the internal fuse will burn out I will connect negative supply to this resistor and positive supply to the multimeter one end second end we will connect to the resistor it is showing 0.798 ampere either it is DC ampere AC ampere or pulsating we can select the function manually from here AC amperes now if we are in ampere mode and we remove the lead it is giving warning and it is showing lead that lead is not in the ampere socket okay we will shift to other range now it is auto scanning mode in smart mode in smart mode it will detect the what type of signal we are injecting for the test if I am connecting DC Automatically it will show 1.489 negative sign mark. One point four eight volt DC. The same point if I am connecting to the AC socket, it will give the voltage 225 volt 50 hertz AC voltage. At the same point, if I am connecting a resistor, it is showing 15 ohm resistor. Yes, it is 15. Brown, green, black, 15 ohm.
it is 7.5 ohm resistors yes it is 885 ohms yes it is 825 ohms and it is reading it is 825 ohm resistor and it is measuring exactly 825 now we have some other functions here I measured a signal and if I will press this hold button the hold sign is visible now now the reading is freezed on the display pressing again will release and it will start to measure again then the minimum and maximum for example I am measuring a signal just only maximum 1.284 the last samples what was the maximum reading it is 1.28 volt and minimum it was 0 0.016 volt then this multimeter have very useful function I will test a resistor here it is 7.5 ohm and this one it is 15 ohm okay I will test any reading either we are in resistance we are in voltage mode anything we are testing it is 7.5 ohm and if I will press this relative button for long time now the reading is 0 and it is showing REL relative function 7.5 ohm we stored a value and now if I will test any other resistor it will show the difference between the two resistors this is 7.8 ohms actually this is 15 ohm but it subtracted the value from this resistor okay let me give some other example this resistor is 826 ohms and I will press relative function and now I will check this resistor it is 15 ohm it is showing that it is minus 810 ohms what means that this resistor is less 800 ohms 810 ohms than this one so it will compare the readings either we are testing the voltage either we are testing resistor either we are measuring the current I will check again now I will take reference from this resistor it is 15.3 ohm I pressed and entered in relative function now it will compare that value with this so it will say it is 810 ohms more than this resistor 825 minus 15 so 810 ohm difference when we are using this multimeter we need to select either it is auto now it is in auto mode smart mode if I will press this button it will move in the manual mode voltage and then next function ohms then next function so we need to jump one step advance at each press I think there is uh, no facility to return back like a manual dial if we are here and we want to return back at any point we can return back but here we need to go forward but if someone will use it 
he can get familiar with this one either we are working in smart mode it is also giving a quick response we can see if I will touch it within one second the reading is there if you will select to manual it is giving quick response very quick response but when we are using smart function it will give approximately one second delay one one and a half second delay we can say that is acceptable but it is best way to use its exact function what we need for example I want to test diode LEDs it is showing forward drop voltage for the LED 1.8 volt it is 1.79 volt one point eight nine volt if I want to move very quickly it is not responding it needs some rest time we can say 0.5 second to move to the next function when we select some function here then we can select the range here is auto range this time we are in voltage mode DC voltage we can now select AC or DC select AC or DC now it is working as a manual multimeter DC range we can select from here manual range first range second third it is showing maximum 750 volt AC and 1000 volt DC yes DC 1000 volt AC 750 volt the next here very useful feature that is light it have a light here just only press this button it will turn on the flashlight here is the power power off button long press it will turn off turn on auto power off if this sign is visible it will turn off within 15 minutes for inactivity if you want to keep it working just only press once and it will not turn off automatically if we discuss its price its price is around 50 to 60 dollars if we see price for this fluke 179 it is also a name of quality it's reading measurement and it is also reliable but when we see its price it is 400 to 500 dollars and it is maximum 50 to 60 dollars it is much cheaper and it have wonderful functions I really loved this product I will give the links of this product if you are interested to purchase it you can check these links and if you are using this product and you have some feedback you have some idea about that please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh